Okay guys, here's our ugly little setup that I've got going on. So we're gonna try this in cylinder compression waveform and um, we're doing it with my little homemade pressure transducer that's currently in there that I've wired up to my uh, five volt power supply box that I randomly made up the other day. This is obviously my prototype and I'll be adding another little LED to show the actual signal voltage coming out to make sure that the 5 volt reference is right all of the time and that the signal coming out is actually working just in case we don't happen to see anything on our scope screen. So that's all set up with my uh, banana jacks and everything. Scope's all connected up. So all we have to do is set it up and uh, I'll take you to that screen now. Alright guys, what we're going to do is we're going to see if our little homemade DIY pressure transducer actually gives us a little decent uh, compression waveform. So let's check it out, let's see if it works. Uh, I'll just set it to one kilo samples. Obviously there's you know a few limitations with this scope. Um, and we know the zero line, I haven't set this up yet because I'm not sure there's a better way to, to zero this. But we know the zero line is 0.5 volts with this pressure transducer so let's record something and see if we can get a um, little waveform happening alright let's stop that let's see what we can find And there we do have it. It's obviously not great detail, not what you'd expect on a more expensive scope, but it's relatively usable. Um, let's see what we can do if we can bring up the 720 degree. Uh, so let's set the zero to this peak, let's set 720 for that peak. Alright, and if we look at that, you can see where the 180 is, that's pretty much in the right spot. You know, even though the you know it's, the detail's pretty ugly, but um, it's still completely usable. And obviously where the 360 mark is, is looking like the right spot too. The 540 mark looks right, so it really does look like a pretty universal waveform for that actual compression. But um, obviously it's not in great detail, so um, whether you would rely on this to diagnose anything, um, that's a different story. Uh, but look, overall, it definitely does the job. Um, and the other thing we can do is we know that the zero line is 0.5 volts. So obviously if we're looking at pressures, back pressures in the exhaust or anything like that, we can just move the scale around. Um, can't remember how I did it before. There we go. So we move the scale around so I can see the 0.5 in the bottom left hand corner. And what I like to do is, is I just like to put that 0.5 line in line with the little indicators in the middle. So if I set the 0.5 line at the top of those little dividers, and that will give me my zero line. So we can see how far above that exhaust is actually, if there's any pressure, you can see how far above it actually is. So, yeah, you know, there's a few other things we can probably do with this, but that's the basis of it for now, and it actually does a really decent job, surprisingly, for a very little cost. And a homemade sensor and a homemade 5 volt reference power supply. Um, yeah, so there you go.